Hello and welcome to this video where I'm gonna be showcasing you the combat system that I've been working on, one that I will be making tutorials for. Firstly, this combat system is mainly based on where you equip the weapon. You can equip the weapon to left, right, two-handed and dual wield. Secondly, it's based on the type of weapons. You can have whatever type of weapons you want. Just click this new button and create a new one. And lastly, it has strong and light attacks. This combat system is very flexible and you can customize it with these variables. Firstly, we can set if we can combo light and strong attacks, strong and light attacks, and if we can combo different weapons, because we can equip different weapons in each hand. Secondly, we can set up the backstab. So if the character that has this component can backstab, how further away can the character be to backstab, the precision of backstab, and then if the character that has this component can be backstabbed, and how long should he be on the ground. Next up is the combat main setup, where you can set up the strong attack input, clear attack counter time, which means when the attacks end, how long will it take to reset the combo. Then we can set the character to hit class, which in the player character should be the master enemy. Then we can enable fist attacks, then we can set up the stamina region pause after the attack. So this is uh, how long will it take till the stamina region will be again regenerating. And this is a stamina region per 0.1 second. Then we can set up the dual wield. We can set if the dual wield should be the main attack, which in most cases is the left mouse button. This is here because this whole combat system was inspired with Elden Ring and the Elden Ring has the dual wield attacks on the right mouse button and the main attacks are still the attacks for the main hand, which can be set up right here. And then we can set up if uh, the dual wield has the strong attacks. Then we have parry here, uh, which basically means how further away can be the character to for the parry to work and uh, what needs what is the parry precision. The one is maximum and zero is the minimum. And then lastly, we have the stamina and max health right here with the stamina required for strong, light, attacks and the backstab. Uh, this also features a target lock-on system, which can be customized by the range of the target lock-on, the class which we should lock on and how much should be the camera angle. Now with this done, let me show you how this combat system works. So firstly, we have enabled the fist attacks. So as you can see, the Fists are attacking and it will drain our stamina. Now when we equip the weapon, it tells us to which hand we want to equip it. Of course, um, this can be changed really easily to whatever needs there are. This is just really, really basic equip system. So when we equip the weapon, it equips to the right socket and now when we left click, we've got the attacks and when we press shift and left click, we have the strong attacks. We can also combo the attacks, so something like this. Now, if we dual wield the same type of weapon, um, as I said previously, the main attacks are still the normal hand attacks and the right attacks are the dual wield attacks, but sadly I don't have any dual wield animations, so I just set up these animations right here. Now we can also combine different weapons. So for example, I can equip these two and the shield has 
this as the light attacks and this is its strong attack. And if it's enabled, uh, we can combine these attacks together. So as you can see, it can be comboed. Now for the backstab, we can go behind the enemy and we can backstab him. Um, it doesn't deal any damage because I didn't set dealing damage for the backstab, but that can be easily changed. But when we attack him normally, you can see we deal damage to him. Now this combat system also works for the AI because it's set up as the component. I just have some really really basic behavior tree right here and the attack service is literally just the input of the attack and when i play he starts to attack of course he's just uh, doing one attack but if we want him to do more attacks we can set this to and now he will attack the whole combo Now, this system also uh, features a blocking, so if we pick up the weapon, or rather shield, we can uh, hold right click and it will block, and when we release it, he will stop blocking, and also we can parry, and it actually works with the enemies as well as player, we can see it right here. Oh, um... <laughs> Let's try it again. Yes. So you can see it stopped the attack animation completely and he's being parried. And just to show you, uh, he can also backstab us when we go like this. Yeah. And now we are backstabbed. It's easily editable and it certainly works with AI as well as the player. For the custom setup, now when we want to create another weapon or another type of weapon, uh, firstly we need to go to the types of weapon enumeration, which just is each and every type of weapon the game has. Uh, we can set up, for example, this giant sword right here. And after that is done, we need to go to the animation setup data table and you click this add button and change the row name to the weapon type name. And after that is done, you can set each of these animations right here. And then also you need to create uh, this type of weapon. So it's done pretty easily too. We've got this weapon data table right here. And you can also again, just add a new weapon. A row name will be the name of the weapon. Of course the name will be also here. It will have its smash, the damage, we want to set its type to the type that we created right now. And you can also set up the circuits so it will equip correspondingly to them. And it's really simple as that. That's how you add a new type of weapon. It's really that easy. For example, this is the giant sword. So it has these kind of animations as the light attack. And these are its strong attack. Now it also has the working stamina bar right at the left corner and when I attack you can see it is working and also if you don't have any stamina the character won't attack. As you can see right here I'm clicking but nothing's happening. And as I said this combat system has also the target lock-on system so when I click the button it locks on the target and I can switch between them. The angle of the camera is this thing right here. Uh, for someone it can be too much and it can be easily changed right here. We can change this to 100 and now when we lock on it's gonna be like this.
you can also turn off the local and we can move the camera now so uh, this is it for this combat system right here it's pretty much the beginning of the more advanced combat systems that developers need for their games but it's also a pretty neat starting point thank you for watching this video if you do like it please like subscribe and i hope to see you in the tutorials bye